Welcome to another bonus episode of Marathon Training with Luis Horta. Before we begin, if you really like this Kenya running series and you wish to come to Kenya, then you're in the right place because I will have two camps in the spring and the fall. So the next camp is coming up October, November. I still don't have specific dates, but if you want to come with me to Kenya where you're going to be going to a safari, motorcycle tours, running in the morning, running in the afternoon, having a personal pacer, sharing with the community and having so much fun, a life-changing experience, I will say. The next camp is going to be October, November. If you're interested, the website is runningmecca.com. You can go there and check out all the information. If you have any questions, send me a DM, send me an email, I'll respond right away. But really, if you want to come to Kenya, come with me, you have the best time of your life. Thank you. We are still in Kenya, we're still training hard, and we're getting very fit and ready to race. So today I, again, and I say this again, had probably the best long run of my life. I don't know if pace-wise is the best long run I've ever had, but definitely feeling-wise, it was really good. So today, we started the day very early again, 5.20 a.m. We were outside waiting for Candy. Candy come, picks us up, 5.30, and we're on our way to Kaptuli. Kaptuli Road is one of the fastest roads in Kenya, so you have Moiben or Kaptuli. I personally prefer Kaptuli. I think it's faster, but most people say Moiben is faster. So, I don't know. In my opinion, Kaptuli is better. I love running really fast in Kaptuli. So 5.30 a.m. we depart and in the middle of the road Candy drops us so we can start our warm up. We do two to three kilometers easy, then you get there, everybody goes to the bathroom, everybody changes shoes, stretch, do some strides and get ready to run fast. So today is a different day. Today everybody knows we're running fast. It's five something in the morning and I'm doing my last Hard long run, 25k, I, or at least we think it's 25k around 320, or maybe faster. But that's what we think. We're waiting for directions and see what happens. But today is supposed to be hard. To be supposed to be a hard effort, but a shorter version. So I think 25k, 320, maybe a little faster. But let's see what they say. Hopefully, is that feel good? Feel ready to work hard. Usually, when it's 35k, 40k, 30k. The pace is a little bit more controlled, but for today, we knew we were gonna run fast. Once we get to the coach, uh, he says the plan is to run 20 kilometers between 315 and 320, and then the last five kilometers to run fast. That's exactly what I had planned with my coach. That is exactly what I wanted to do, so it was perfect. I said, let's do it, I'm ready for anything. And this time I meant it, I was ready for anything. I knew if I could run the first 20 kilometers as relaxed as possible, I could feel good to run progressive that last 5K. Morning. Body has a good. We are doing uh, 25K. Or Luis, do you have any plan or? Uh, 25. Okay. So 25K. Uh, 125 target for the all uh, all kilometers, and then the pace is uh, 320. Uh, but I think the end will try to, as you know, <laughs> we normally try to push because uh, that is the tactic there. Yeah? Yes. Because you, you have to run the, the fastest like 5k, the last 5k. We so we'll try to see if the body can just. So uh, we are going. So the run starts, uh, and two, from the gun we is, are one. right on pace yeah, between 315 to 320 per kilometer. So we're running some 315s, some 317s, 318s, and I'm feeling very comfortable. I feel strong. I feel good. I know that I can get to 20 kilometers with no problem. One good thing about 315 to 320 is that we're at altitude and in a hard course, so it's kind of close to my goal marathon pace, which is around 310, a little bit more, a little bit less. So 
a 315 at elevation in a difficult terrain. I think you can say it's a 310 at sea level. So this means that I ran the first 20 kilometers very controlled at marathon pace or at least very close to my marathon pace. I think another super cool thing about this run was that I had Dennis Kimeto, which is the ex-marathon world record holder. For the last video we had Wilson Kipsang and now in this video we have Dennis Kimeto running with us. He's a 202 marathoner and he just ran the whole run next to me. So that gave me a boost of motivation, of energy to run fast because I was running with him and I felt really good. This is why I say this is probably my best long run ever because I felt so good. So the pace was good, but I don't think it was my fastest long run ever. But one thing that was good is that I felt really good and comfortable. So 20, we get to the 20 kilometer mark and they say, and give him what you, which means let's go guys. And we go. So we went from 317 down to a 300 to another 300 K. And then we had a hill, which I think we ran around 305, 306 and we finished the last 5k in 1520 which is well under my marathon goal pace and i felt really good really strong really confident so i think for this workout confidence is the key word because i felt really confident and i think i can take this to my race to my next weeks of training and i can for sure know that i'm ready to run a pr in the marathon so now i think it's all about being smart, staying healthy, getting to my race and get it done. Not so much about, oh, am I in shape or am I not? Because I know I am, I'm ready. If I can run with Dennis Kimeto for 25K and finish strong and even finish in front of them, I think I'm ready. So the last 5K, we divided in a small group because not everybody went as fast as we did because because when they went from 317 down to 300, that changed everything, you know? Like, not everybody has the speed to go that fast, that quick, and thankfully, I did. So I felt really strong and I went with them and I finished up front. There was two guys that were in front of me, I have to admit, but they were going crazy fast and I was like, all right, Luis, you have a race coming up. Let's be smart about this. So again, we finished 25K at a 316 average pace, feeling really good feeling confident, feeling strong. So I'm very happy with this run. And I'm at the end of my marathon training cycle. So now I can say I'm ready. I'm ready to run fast. I'm ready to run a PR. Hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully I can go home with a personal best time because I did sacrifice two months of training far away from home, far away from my family. And you know, as an athlete, sometimes we have to do this but we really want it to pay off. And I think this time it will pay off. And if it doesn't, it's still a learning experience for me and it's part of my life. But I definitely want this time to run fast and to run a marathon PR because I work really hard for it and I'm really ready for it. <coughs> All right, 25K, <laughs> progressive, hard. We had a three flat, 301 after 20K. So we started moving. <laughs> Last 5K was 15.22, so we were moving at the end, but the first 20K was very controlled at 3.18, 3.20. And then we moved the last 5K. It was exactly what I needed, what I wanted, and I felt great. Like running three flats at altitude with a hill in the middle of the run, that's exactly what I wanted, what I needed. <coughs> now I'm more confident than ever. Thank you for the help and the company. We're done. <laughs> Everybody seems to be happy. <laughs> Good run makes everybody happy. Ooh, we were moving. When I saw the watch and we had a three flat in there and we still had 5k, I knew we were moving. I knew it was gonna be a good one. <laughs> it was good. It was hard, but it was good. <laughs> Congratulations! Very good. We told you when you were good. Today is good. Yes, yes. Good. After the run, uh, I did a two kilometer cool down, something very simple, just so I can feel good for the rest of the day. And then that's it. Took Sunday off and then one week of 
running very easy because we're basically ready. So this is it. This was today's training run, 25 kilometers at 316 average pace with the first 20 kilometers at 319, 320 and the last 5K in 1520. So really good day, very proud and very confident. Thank you for watching another episode of Marathon Training in Kenya with Luis Orta. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, that helps us a lot. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And I want to give a quick shout out to the new editor for this video here in Kenya, Greg Alusa, which has been doing a really good job with our videos and all the content for Instagram throughout this past couple of weeks here in Kenya so don't forget to follow him too and if you ever need anything here in Kenya he is your guy so send him a DM contact him and work with him I highly recommend him I also want to thank our sponsors SOS hydration stride and the feed we couldn't do it without you guys so thank you very much my Olympic coach and running mecca we are ready to run fast